back once again my dear students today we will continue with concept of codominance and we will further study abo blood group example to understand the concept of uh, codominance further okay uh, unfortunately in the previous part i forgot to tell you something uh, more about the abo blood groups and that is why today i have uh, taken this uh, example once again okay so you know that uh, uh, codominance is a form of inheritance variant the phenotype of the f1 hybrid the phenotype of the individual okay uh, the phenotype of the heterozygote uh, it represents the phenotypes of both the parents okay or you can say a form of inheritance wherein the phenotypes of both the parents are expressed in the offspring okay uh, we discussed the ABO blood group example and we know that the gene that uh, determines the blood grouping in human beings it contains three alleles one is IA second one is IB and third one is IO or simply I okay and these three uh, three alleles they show some uh, dominant recessive relationships IA is dominant over I uh, similarly IB is dominant over I okay and I A equals I B that means if an individual possesses this genotype it is uh, phenotype will be blood group A and if an individual possesses I B I it is phenotype it is blood group will be uh, B and if an individual possesses this uh, genotype this allelic combination it is uh, phenotype will be A B because these two alleles are equally expressive okay they are equally expressive they do not show dominance recessive relationship in a state they express equally and because of this equal expression uh, the offspring the individual it shows the phenotypes of both the parents okay uh, so these things are already known to us uh, now uh, let's get started once again okay uh, we know that if an individual is having IAIA genotype or IAI genotype it will possess uh, antigen A on the surface of it is uh, RBCs and blood group will be A. Okay, if it possesses IB, IBR, IBI, it will possess antigen B and the blood group will be B. If it possesses IA, IB, it will possess both the uh, antigens on the surface of uh, this RBC and blood group will be AB. Okay, and finally, if it possesses II, it will not possess any sort of uh, uh, antigens on the surface of RBCs and hence it is blood group will be O. Okay, this is all known to us. Okay. So you can say that uh, there are six possible genotypes, one, two, three, four, five, six, and there are po four possible phenotypes, okay? Six possible genotypes are there and there are only four possible phenotypes. Now let's uh, go to the other slide and uh, understand the concept of uh, codominance and uh, the blood groups in human beings in little bit more detail, okay? You know that if the phenotype is A, the genotype will be A, I, A, I, A, or I, A, I, and the carbohydrate which will be present and the antigen which will be present it will be type a okay uh, this individual possessing blood group a it produces antibodies against antigen b okay yaad rakhna beta an individual possessing blood group a it always produces antibodies against antigen b okay it produces anti b antibodies uh, now uh, we will see what are the reactions of this uh, blood group a with other blood groups if you will give this uh, anti uh, sorry this individual blood group o it will not show any reaction okay if you will give it uh, and uh, blood group a it will not show any reaction if you will give this individual blood group b it will show reaction because in its plasma there are antibodies against antigen b and if you will give it the transfusion of blood group a b it will induce reaction it will cause coagulation okay because here you have b okay here you have B antigen and in the plasma of this individual you have antibodies against this B antigen. Now this one uh, phenotype B it is represented by IB, IB or IBI and the carbohydrate and the antigen which will be present on the surface of uh, RBCs is uh, carbohydrate B or antigen B okay and this individual possessing blood group B it possesses antibodies against anti uh, antigen A okay so if you will give this uh, individual a transfusion uh, it will not show any reaction with o and uh, blood group okay because o blood group does not possess any 
antigens it will not it will not uh, show any reaction uh, if you will give this individual an infusion of blood group a because it possesses antibodies against antigen a it will induce reaction okay coagulation will take place here and if you if you will give it uh, the blood group b it will not induce any reaction coagulation will not take place okay because it does not contain antibodies against antigen b and if you will give this individual uh, blood group ab reaction will take place because here in this ab blood group you have a antigen a and antibodies a are present already in the plasma of this individual okay now the ab blood group uh, which is represented by i a i b both types of antigens are, are present on the surface of rbcs okay and here this is very much important in this individual possessing blood group a b no antigens sorry no antibodies are produced in its plasma yaad rakhna no antibodies are produced in the plasma of an individual possessing blood group a b okay so this individual it can take blood group o it can take blood group a it can take blood group b it can take blood group ab because there are no antigens present in it is plasma okay and that is why this blood group ab it is known as universal acceptor this is known as universal acceptor reason being it does not possess any antigens in its plasma and hence any blood group can be transfused into that individual okay no reaction will take place at all and finally this uh, blood group uh, o okay uh, represented by ii it does not possess any surface antigens and this point is very much important it produces both anti a and anti b antibodies okay it produces antibodies against both antigen a and antigen b and as a consequence of this uh, this individual can only take o blood group an individual possessing blood group o it will only take blood group o if you will give it a blood group okay because it possesses antibodies against a blood group reaction will take place if you will give it b blood group it possesses antibodies against uh, antigen b reaction will take place and if you will give it ab it has both antigen uh, antibodies uh, against antigen a and antigen b and hence reaction will take place so two things are very much uh, apparent in this uh, table one is that uh, ab is universal acceptor okay ab is universal acceptor it accepts all sorts of blood groups without any reaction and o is universal donor okay o is universal donor it can be given to any other blood group okay so this is all about uh, uh, the concept of codominance and the types of blood groups in human beings i hope you all understand this see you soon with a new lesson till then stay blessed and thank you